I'm Tucker Root, Junior Mechanical Engineer with One Touch Air Chuck. We approached this project as an opportunity to design something that was useful. We started from scratch with each member looking for something in their daily lives, you know, a recurring issue that we can all relate to. Uh, after walking down the aisles of various retailers looking for ideas, we found one in the tire pump section. The idea came to mind to create an air chuck system that would allow the user to set the desired pressure on the device and with one simple use inflate the tire to that specific, or specified PSI. The idea couldn't be simpler, and all we had to do was apply what we've learned from cumulative classes and get to work. Back. Dean Wink, junior mechanical engineer, designer of the One Touch Air Check. The original idea was to modify our benchmark by implementing a small adjustable relief valve into the manifold body. This valve would be set to a desired pressure, and the tire or object would inflate until the specified pressure was reached, thus causing the relief valve to open and create an escape path for the air and curb inflation. We expected to overcome issues dealing with response time and airflow restriction to ensure air pressure was rapidly and evenly distributed in the manifold. Uh, basic fluid mechanics give us the intuition that the manifold would be more pressurized than the tire, but thought it was something that could be controlled and predicted. When Prototype 1 was constructed, however, it was then obvious upon initial testing that the manifold was near compressor pressure. This caused the valve to open as soon as air was allowed to flow. Tires could be still inflated, however, with this issue, but it caused serious inaccuracy and unpleasant use. The design needed to be revamped. Hi, I'm Jason Cortella and I'm a third year mechanical engineering student at UCSB. After deciding that Prototype 1 was too inaccurate, we realized that a pressure regulator would be an ideal part to increase accuracy. As long as the pressure from the air compressor is higher than the pressure you're filling to, the regulator can limit the pressure to your selected value. Knowing this, we had to design a way to attach the purchased regulator to our air compressor. We built our second prototype by using Prototype 1's existing hardware, replacing the inaccurate relief valve with a regulator. Our successful construction remained compact and lightweight. My name is Phil Chang and I'm a third year mechanical engineering student. So once our prototype was fully assembled, we were able to test our product to see whether or not it met our performance requirements. Under the supervision of Andy Weinberg and John Clark, we tested the one-touch air truck in the machine shop on road bike, mountain bike, and car tire. The product performed as anticipated as the user was able to simply set the pressure reading to a desired amount and fill the tire in less than 30 seconds. On average, the air compressor was able to fill the tire to a pressure of within 2 psi of the desired reading. Our product was most successful at relatively lower pressure, ranges of 30 psi to 80 psi, and even though it was efficient when trying to reach a tire pressure of 80 to 100 psi, the results slightly deviated from our expectation of being within 2 psi. Hi, I'm Kyle Boswell and I'm a third year mechanical engineer at UCSB. We learned through this project that design is a complete process. It takes several steps in order to create a final product. Our experience demonstrated how many times designs don't go as expected. Ideas are constantly altered and models are constantly redesigned. It is evident that teamwork is the key to success and dividing the work up based on each member's strengths is the key to both the efficiency of the design and the quality of the final product. 